You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pup Chasers. All right, guys. So, as y'all know, been kind of cutting down for the summer. Trying to get home ready. Everybody wants to know what I'm doing for abs. First and foremost, guys, you can't go to the gym and crunch and twist and tuck your way to a six pack. You get a six pack just like you get nice shaped biceps. Build the biceps. Get lean, 12% body fat or lower, and they're going to look crispy. Same with abs. You build the abs, get lean, 12% body fat or lower, you get a crispy six pack. You can't have a big belly hanging over your motherfucking pants. You got to lift your stomach up and take a fucking piss. You can't see your dick when you take a piss and go to the gym and twist and tuck your way to a six pack. It doesn't work that way, okay? Trust me. I tried it back in the day when I was young and didn't understand diet or macros. It's all about, you know how they say abs are made in the kitchen? That's pretty much true. They're not made in the kitchen, but they're revealed by what you do in the kitchen or what you don't do in the kitchen, all right? So let's keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for abs right now, guys. So y'all be sure to watch and take notes. I'm fasted, haven't had anything to eat. I took some Cuts FTS fat burner. Now I'm having some BCAs in my water, man. All right, gonna do two scoops of Intra Pump. You can get all Palm Chaser Sucks, TigerFitness.com. Link is in the description. And if you're in the European area, go to AListNutrition.com. Fuck with the movement, man. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that support me. And none of this shit is possible without you guys. I cannot thank you guys enough. The first exercise for the ab routine I'm doing is the reverse crunch. One of my favorite lower ab movements, okay? Really hard to cheat doing this, which is why I like doing it. So many people cheat using the power from their hips and not really getting a good contraction in the lower abs. Lower abs is one of the hardest parts of the abs to get. You might see the four pack all the time, but that lower part is really hard to get. Try doing this, all right? So I get here and we got the bench lowered. I don't like to do it flat. If you do it flat, it's too easy. All right, so I get a, a slight decline. All right. Here we go. Focus everything on the knees. All right, so keep your head down, elbows up. Try to make your knees touch your elbows. Pelvis to rib cage, okay? So stay tight. Bam. Bam. Now notice how my butt comes off the pad. That's very important. Look at this. I'm not just moving my knees. See that? That's why I want my knees to hit my elbows. It's going to force the butt to come off the pad. See this? The butt's not come off the pad, but now look. Off the pad. Off the pad. Off the pad. And off the pad. Do 15 to 20 reps of that. All right, homies and home mats, you already know the drill. The full ab routine is written at the very bottom of description. Now, every exercise you see here is three sets, 15 to 20 reps. You know, some days I feel pretty good, I knock out 20 reps. And some days my ass might be a little sore, or I might just be a little tired that day. And I just do 15, it all comes down to how I feel, man. So we did reverse crunches, we're doing straight legged raises, and then we're doing some nice and slow controlled knee raises with the knees bent, all right? Really good way to attack these lower abs. I have like to do three different variations lately, three different variations for lower abs. I'm about to show you a nice little tricep. You know a superset is when you do two exercises back to back. Tricep is when you do three exercises back to back, okay? So check this out. It's gonna start off with cable twist. I've already shown y'all this a few times, but we got new subscribers, so go ahead and show you again. The most important thing is to connect with the body and just twist from the waist. 
So many people try to turn this into a power movement. Now check it out, right? I can do the whole stack if I want to. Look at all this weight, right? I can do the whole stack if I want to. Bend my knees and just throw it, okay? That's not what we're doing here. It's not a total body movement. We're just trying to get those obliques, okay? So I only do about 40 pounds. That's all I need to fill it. And we aim for 15 reps, nice and controlled. So look, keep your arms stiff, not all the way locked. Keep them stiff and just twist from the waist. Pause and back down. Don't do this. You're building momentum, okay? What you do is twist from the waist, nice and controlled. Pause, that's one. Pause, that's two. Pause, that's three. Always pause at the top. We're gonna do 15 reps each side, okay? This is the beginning of the tricep. Let's roll it down. All right, so like I just told you guys, be sure to pause at the top of the twisting motion to really engage those obliques, okay? Today, I did 15 reps each side, all right? So 15 to the left, and be sure to get your 15 to the right. This is the tricep, all right? So as soon as I finish the cable twist, we go on into mountain climbers. We're going into twisting mountain climbers. Now, you don't need to use push-up bars, but if you have them, go ahead and use them. This is almost like doing planks because you gotta keep your body stiff at the top, all right? So check it out. Notice how my right knee goes towards my left shoulder and my left knee goes towards my right shoulder. We're doing 30 reps. 30 reps is 15 reps each side. And as soon as we finish the mountain climbers with the twist, we're doing twisting crunches on a stability ball. These three exercises back to back is gonna hit the whole oblique region all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. You got your twist, you got your mountain climbers, and then you got your twisting crunches. Give it a try and let me know what you think. All right? And we're finishing off the routine with some barbell rollouts. I'm using the easy curl bar, but you get the point. We're doing some rollouts. And I don't really do crunches anymore. Anybody see any of my photos? Have you ever seen my abs? The upper abs are already ridiculously th thick. So I just do like some kind of core work, like some planks or some rollouts as you're seeing me do right here. And that's all folks. This exercise right here, not only is it good for your abs, but it's good for fucking. You hear me? Look at this right here. Hey man, upper body strength, core strength matters. You feel me? I'll give it how good your body looks. If you can't use it, if you don't know how to use what you got, bitches ain't calling you back. I'm sorry, you would not get a call back. You're like, what's going on? I'm aesthetic. I'm built like a Greek god, but bitches ain't calling me back. Cause you don't know how to use what the fuck you got. <laughs> All about the diet and cardio, guys. My training does not change, man. Let the diet and cardio do its job. No 20 rep sets and all that bullshit. Keep it heavy. Ah. Ah, I feel good. All right, homies and homies. So there it is. That is my abs routine right now. All right, I do abs two to three times a week. That's exactly what I'm doing. Give it a try and let me know what you guys think. I'm about to chill in a hot tub, hit my hemp oil right here, my hemp oil vape, and I'm reflecting my life. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and holler back at your boy.